Alam mo ba na merong built-in screen recording application ng iyong Windows 10 computer? So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to access and use this feature available in Windows 10. Before we begin the recording, kailangan muna natin i-open ang specific window or application since this can only record one application at a time. For example, I'm going to open my Chrome browser para kunwari magde-demonstrate ako on how to use Google Classroom. So once naka-open na yung application na gusto mong i-record, i-hold Windows G on your keyboard and kailangan sabay ang pag-press until this window pops up. The feature is also called Game Capturing since its main purpose is to screen record or broadcast gameplays. But good thing is, it also works with other applications. If gusto mo i-record ang voice mo while recording the screen, just click this icon to turn on the mic. Then i-prepare mo na rin ang iyong headset. Itong folder icon naman, you can set here the location kung saan mo gusto i-save ang recorded videos. Now if ready ka na, click this to start recording. Once you click start, makikita mo ang maliit na window na to na nasa gilid. Ito yung indication na nagsa-start na ang screen recording. Makikita mo dito ang time or duration ng video, pero itong nasa video ko, hindi gumagalaw yung time kasi picture lang to. Hindi talaga ito maka-capture ng screen recording. You can press this icon anytime if gusto mo i-mute or unmute ang sarili mo during the recording. Once you're done, just press the stop icon or simply close the application at automatic na dito siya magsa-stop. So sa iba ba, meron kang makikita ang notification dyan kung saan isinave ang recorded video mo. Mamaya na natin i-open yung recorded video, let's try another application like PowerPoint Presentation. So sa iyong PowerPoint Presentation, i-click mo muna ang slideshow icon before you begin with the recording. This is very useful when creating lecture videos, especially for the teachers since it can also record your voice when explaining each slide of the PowerPoint Presentation. Kasi we don't just read the slides but we also need to elaborate them, right? At para hindi ka na nabubulol, eh, nabubulol or paulit-ulit while recording yourself, it's recommended that you prepare your script and you rehearse first para dire-diretso ka na sa pag-explain hanggang sa matapos ang pag-record mo. And in that way, hindi mo na kailangan i-edit ang video. Ready to publish or upload na siya. So after you do your lecture with the PowerPoint presentation, just press stop or close the PowerPoint. Alright, so now to open the screen recorded videos, go to your videos folder on your computer, then look for captures folder. This is its default location if hindi mo sinet kung saan mo siya gusto i-save. Now let's try to open one of the screen recorded videos. By the way, ang mga videos na ito ay naka MP4 format. Before I end this video, gusto ko lang i-add na if you do screen recording within your desktop screen or within the folder, you will get this error message. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.